Hey YouTube, Adam here again. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a Lenovo M73. This particular one has some sort of i3 in it. Um, this is from like about 2014, I believe. If we look at the date code here, uh, it takes a 20 volt laptop style power supply. It's a Lenovo M73. Like I said, this is the tiny version. Um, I have a couple of these. I really like these. Um, this particular one's going to be a Windows 10 machine that is on 24-7 uh, doing completely legitimate BitTorrent related stuff. Um, I have used one of these in the past for a similar task. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, open this thing up. I'll have a look at the back here first. There's the power, display port, USB, VGA, Ethernet, Wi-Fi antenna, and another Ethernet port. And then on the front, we have Ethernet and sound. The sound ports are broken on this particular one. I don't really care because it's not going to be used for that. Uh, but I like these units. They're pretty low power. Um, like I said, I've used them for a while. Uh, in other ap similar applications, I actually have one that I'm going to be doing another video on soon. Um, we have an old Samsung. This is an 830 series. Yeah, 830 series. SSD and we're gonna throw eight gigs of RAM in since it's only comes configured with four and these open just like that inside we got space for one drive this has two memory slots so, like I have an M53 that only has one um, the CPU has a fairly decent cooler with some nice copper uh, piping going on there uh, let's see looks like there's only one screw in here So there's the Wi-Fi uh, adapter, and we have our memory here, which is this laptop style. This is a 4 gigabyte chip. We're going to go ahead and put in this 8 gig. Uh, it can be expanded up to 16, but I don't need 16 for what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, I actually I'm missing three of the drive screws, but I actually have extras, so I'm going to go ahead and get that SSD mounted up here. Alright, so the SSD is mounted up. We just need to plug in the uni little unified data and power cord there. And it's a little fiddly to get it on its little mount there, but good to go. Place this screw. This has a Windows 10 installation on it already. I'm hoping that that will transfer over to this machine without too much drama. So uh, we'll see. I'm going to bust out a display here and we'll take a look at the uh, BIOS on this machine. Make sure it boots up. Okay, it was, I think, F10 or F11. So we can do memory tests, which not really interested in. Let's take a look at system information here. Lenovo, there's the product name, serial number. Uh, I don't know what the latest version of the BIOS is. I should probably look into that. But this machine was made in 2014, I think, and that's 2014 BIOS, so it's probably original. This is an i3-4130T at 2.9, so I believe that's a two-core, four-thread low power processor. We got our 8 gigs of memory there. There's information about this monitor. And uh, from here on out, I do want to check a couple more things. I don't think there's really any settings that need to be changed here. Uh, but I do want to change a couple of things and then we'll check it out over remote desktop because that's how I actually use this machine generally. I don't have a monitor set up. Uh, it just lives in a closet and gets used with remote desktop. All right, we have a Lenovo splash screen. That seems encouraging. I think I might have missed the setup. Yeah, I think it's going to boot into Windows. So it's updating the devices. We'll see if we can just transfer right over. All right, so it's been updating the devices here, and it looks like we do indeed have Windows working here. Apologize for that noise. There's another machine. 
So yeah, this is for a completely legitimate BitTorrent purposes. Um, let's go ahead and actually reboot. So that's good to know that at least that will transfer over. Let's check if our Windows activation is still valid here. Windows isn't activated because uh, it's a digital activation that's tied to the other machine. Apparently enough, enough hardware has changed. Oh, that's annoying. Did they really just activate it? They did! How nice of them. Alright, we got some updates installed. I'm gonna try real quick to get into the, the setup utility here. I don't have a Think Vantage button or anything here, so it's just gotta be F1 or Delete or something like that. No, that just got me into Windows again. Boots up really fast compared to the previous installation I had. Alright, so the system is up and running. Everything transferred over completely easily from one Lenovo machine to the other. Uh, if we go to system here, we can just verify real quick. It's got everything running. There's my i3, 8 gigs of RAM, and Windows is activated, I guess. So, all is well in the world. Everything seems a lot snappier and better. Uh, I was using an M53 with a Pentium J2900 in it, and uh, that worked all right, but this seems quite a bit better. And like I said, this machine just runs 24-7 and does bit torrenting, so uh, it's a pretty basic thing. The reason I don't use Linux is because I have a specific way that I do backups, and Windows machines are just easier for me with the way that I, I have only two Linux machines, I think, that I actually use regularly. Um, and then I use BSD and FreeBSD for other stuff. Uh, but this has worked well with all, everything I needed to do, and I think it will continue through for a while. Um, I'm probably going to pick up a few more of these little um, Lenovo Tiny systems. Uh, I like them quite a bit. There's a few places around here, like my I have a garage now, which I didn't have before, that I would like to have a computer in. And something like this is just real handy. It's tiny, doesn't take up much room. They actually make a display that you kind of just shove the thing in, and uh, it's all in one unit. So I'll probably pick up some more of these in the future. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.